Here we have a 2000 on a W. Volvo Mark IV B10M Plaxton Premier 350 49 seat executive coach. And I'm going to mix things up a little bit with this one. I'm going the wrong way around, but you'll see why shortly. Vehicle has had two owners from new. Smiths down in Tring have been the second owner since 2003. This is like, to John Smith, this will be like giving you, giving your puppy up. This is his little baby. It's in pretty good order for its age, to be honest. Um, Six-speed manual gearbox drives that uh, beaten M engine. You can hear the aircon working. It's fully air conditioned. New clutch was fitted to this vehicle uh, about 2,000 kilometres back. It's also had uh, a lot of new exhaust work and manifold work done. Winner with the old B10Ms is the big boot, although this has the intrusion of the toilet. And the reason we're coming this way around is because this is the side I've got the lockers open. All that luggage space in the wheelbase was never an issue. Rear continental doors fitted. And do you know what? Bodywork wise, other than the odd little bit of bubbling here and there, there's no major corrosion issues. Your luggage, as you can see, plenty of room, no issues at all. Listen to that purring away, that's one of my favourite sounds. Just slightly beaten by an AEC 760 or a 680 Leyland in a Leopard, setting a load of car alarms off. Now if you've not worked it out up to now, and I'm going to give you another clue, Mark IV B10Ms didn't need that front grille, but this operator always specified them. My old favourite in-swing door. And if you've not guessed now, you know now to about coaches, because this was obviously new to Wallace Arnold. It's one of the WFUM batches. 49 reclining seats with lap belts, doors to the hat racks. In fact, this is pretty original. Other than the extra seat on the back row, because these would have been new as 48s. This is pretty original, Wallace Arnold. Rear sunken toilet with hot drinks facility. But the reason I'm pointing that out is, if you're a bus enthusiast or a coach enthusiast and you're looking for an old Wallace Arnold coach to preserve, you ain't going wrong here. Maquette's original, everything, floor's original. There's more red in here than there is in a knocking shop. Allegedly. You know, the body's in good order. It's wanted for nothing mechanically. You only have to look at the dashboard. That's, that's a fairly new steering wheel. That's a new gear stick knob. Retarder fitted on these, which was, wasn't was standard on B10Ms, but Wallace Arnold and Shearing specified them as standard. It's even got the original stereo. The Wallace Arnold litter bin. I would say the fridge is possibly an addition. I don't recall Wally's motors having fridges there. But there's a fridge by the crew seat. And, you know... Let's look from an operator's point of view. Good spur vehicle that's going to start every morning without fail, go out, never let you down, and always come home. You ain't going to go wrong with this because I would say the 510,000 kilometres on this vehicle is genuine. Because looking at the rest of the fleet here, they're not worked hard. From an enthusiast point of view, if you're looking for a pretty complete ex Wallace Arnold standard coach, which was a beaten M Plaxton Premier in latter years, there's one right in front of me. So, to recap, 
this is a very desirable to operator or enthusiast Volvo Mark IV B10M Plaxton Premier 350 49 seat executive coach.